11th on our list is PL259 connector. They are often referred to as ultra high frequency plugs or UHF plugs. They are used with RG59U coaxial cable. Such connectors may be threaded or friction tied together. They are basically designed for radio frequency applications. 12th and the most important connector on our list is BNC connector. This type of connectors are used for analog and serial digital interface, video signals, radio antennas, aerospace electronics or avionics in nuclear instrumentation as well as in test equipments such as oscilloscopes and lab bench power supplies. BNC connectors are used with coaxial cables and have twist on bayonet type locking mechanism. This features allows quick connections. 13th on our list are T connectors. They consist of two plug ends and one central jack end making it look like an alphabet T. They are used when a connection must be made somewhere along a coaxial cable and mainly used to split radio frequency from a cable into two. 14th on our list is D-in connectors. These connectors are used with multiple conductor wires like 3-pin connector, 5-pin connector, 8-pin etc. They are often used for interconnecting audio and computer accessories, mostly used in analog audio. 15th on our list are meat hook cables. These connectors are used as test probes. The spring-loaded hook opens and closes with a push of a button. The hook can be used to clamp onto the wire and component leads. 16th on our list are D connectors. D connectors are used with ribbon cables. Each may have as many as 50 contacts. The connections of each individual wire to each individual plug pin or jack socket is made by sliding the wire into the hollow metal collar at the back side of the connector. The wire is then soldered into the place. 17th on our list are VH connectors. They are generally used to interconnect the circuits and their output within a device. They are available in various pin configurations like 2 pin, 4 pin, 7 pin, etc. 18th on our list are JST connectors, which serve the same as that of VH connectors but are a little bit different in appearance. 19th on our list are barrel connectors. Barrel connectors are typically found on low cost consumer electronics which can be plugged into the wall via a bulky wall adapter. Wall adapters are widely available in a variety of power rating and voltages making barrel connectors a common means for connecting power to small appliances or projects. Some of these connectors will have an additional contact that allows the application to detect whether a power supply is plugged into the barrel jack or not, thus allowing the device to bypass batteries and save battery life when running on external power. 20th on our list and the most important power connectors are Molex connectors. Most computers, hard drives, optical drives and other internal peripherals get power through what is called a Molex connector. The female connector is usually found on the end of the cable and it typically slides into a plastic shell which surrounds the male pin on the male connector. Usually the connectors are press fit only. Molex connectors are designed to carry a lot of current up to 11 amperes per pin for projects where a lot of power may be needed like a CNC machine for instance or a 3D printer. A very common method for powering the project is to use a desktop PC power supply and connect various system circuits through Molex connectors.